All right then mate, all right, all right, all right, all right. I know what I'm doing, I'm making some grub, and I'm gonna make a meal fit for a king, okay boy? What do we need to do? We do, in fact, need to get some eggs. Now, a cat of eggs, a couple of eggs is fine, boy, yeah? This is the Nicky Davis way, okay? Then what you do is you put those in the bin. That's something we'll do in a minute. Okay, so they're in the bin. So now you've got to whisk or beat your eggs. This is referred to as beating, but I like to call it whisking. As you can see, I'm using a whisk. Okay. All the while, look, as you can see there in the distance, uh, smoking there is the fat in the frying pan. The oil. The extra virgin oil there. Now this is done. So always put things away before you do anything. So wash this under the tap. That way, it's, it's good practice. So next is obviously we're going to pour in the egg. And listen to that sizzling, sizzling, sizzling. That's what you want. That is just what you want, mate. I'll let that do its job. I've just washed that under the tap, so let's have a look. The uh, toast is going to be pressed down in the toaster. Always make sure the butter is nicely ready and melted. Don't like it too uh, hard, you see. Let's just get this. Uh... You can't beat it with a fried scrambled egg. You've never had fucking. You've never had food until you've had my food. I tell you. Open the windows. Make sure these doors are shut. Right, boy. What's next? So, obviously. A fry up wouldn't be uh, complete without a bit of bacon or a bit of bacon as I call it. Get a bit of bacon. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to whack it in the microwave just to give it a bit of a. Seems a bit hard, it's been left open, you see. Nice one, that's out of the microwave. We just need to separate these bits of bacon. Oh, they're very thick slices. Two of these will do me fine. Put the rest in the fridge for another day. Of course. So, how's the egg doing? See how the egg's doing? Let's get these bacon in. Look, listen. Listen to, to the sizzle. That sizzle is music to my ears. You shouldn't really use oil with bacon, really, but a little bit won't harm it. Give it the, uh, you know, the heat transmits through the oil to the bacon, see, and you're going to want it nice and cooked. I mean, this, none of this stuff does much good for your arteries, but, you know, it's all about moderation. If you have things in moderation, whether it's food, drugs, any type of activity that's potentially harmful in the long run, you've got to do it in moderation, you see. Moderation in all things, as they say. Something I find hard because it gets the personality and all that. But uh, there's a lot of it about. You've got to admit these things. Right, so. Turn the uh, temperature down a little bit. Let me just check if I've got any other bits and pieces that I want to put in. Right, that's the toast about done. So pop that up. And I like my toast, I call it juicy toast. I make the best toast in the world, let alone in Grantham where I live. So you butter it up, the butter's got to be melted already, and then you're already off to a head start because I don't like to see the butter, it's got to be melted in. In fact, when I started eating butter when I was younger, I didn't even know it was butter because I didn't make it from parents. Did. I didn't know it was butter that I was eating. I didn't think I liked butter because I don't. But if it's melted in, I like it. I just knew that what it, whatever it was on my toast, I liked. 
You can turn that off now. Let the heat finish it off. So we're about done. I've buttered the toast. Just got to put the bacon on top like that. All that's left to do, and this is a main important part for me, always do the washing up before I even tuck into the meal. Because if I don't do the washing up now, when I'm eating it, I won't be able to enjoy it knowing I've got all that work ahead of me. And it also, it's got to cool down. So let's do the washing up. Then we'll tuck in. So now everything's done. I've washed up and everything. I've put the pan back there ready for tomorrow. I'm going to show you the meal and then uh, I'm going to tuck in. And there, my friends, you have it. I could have added more. I could have added spaghetti, things like that. But this will do me. I don't want to get heart disease. Or uh, more correctly, coronary artery disease. Anyway, thanks for watching. And there, my friends, you have it. I could have added more spaghetti or things like that, but this will do me for now. I don't want to get coronary artery disease. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Here's the meal. I'm going to tuck in. Uh, you should visit my YouTube channel. You really should.